What's up, everybody? This is Ross Clot 222, aka Excalibur. You know, with the recent events with Javante Davis and his domestic violence that he's displayed in the public eye has caught my attention in terms of I didn't really care about what was going on with Javante Davis. I don't care about what goes on in these guys' personal lives. If the guy wanna be wants to be a woman beater. And he wants to be a sucker like that and puts put his hands on a female, then so be it. Be be that sucker that you are, putting your hands on a female. Um, I only care about what these boxers do as a professional boxer. And during the recent events, I heard a couple of people compare, compare Javante Davis to Zab Judah. And I'm like. What what's going on? Like, why why compare Javante Davis to Zab Judah? I mean, I could understand you guys comparing Javante Davis to Adrian Broner, and and I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't even go that far. But I'll, I'll get to that. I wouldn't even go that far. But why compare someone like Javante Davis? who has only one good win on his resume against a smaller man past his prime with a bum leg and you still went to distance with this guy. So I'm not even going to go there about the Adrian Broner because at least Adrian Broner won titles in, I believe, four different divisions. Okay. But to compare Javante Davis to Zab Judah, let me let me say something real quick. Okay, I'm gonna now I'm freestyling right now. Okay, I'm freestyling right now. I'm gonna put out some names out there. Okay, and I want you to tell me if any one of these guys is better than Gamboa, Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto. Lucas Matisse, Corey Spinks, Kasazu. I mean, these are the guys that Zab Judah faced. You understand me? Mickey Ward. Hmm? I mean... I, I, you can't compare a Gervonta Davis to Zab. Have put some respect on Zab Judah name. May I remind you guys? See, a lot of you guys are so blind. A lot of you boxing fans, especially you haters, are so stuck with Zab Judah losing to Kasazu by that second round knockout. That you guys forget about the accolades he's done before that. You guys talk all this smack about Kasazu beating Zab Judah. Kasazu got knocked out too by Vince Vince Phillips. Oh, it, oh, we forgot about that, did we? Do you guys remember when Vince Phillips knocked Kasazu smooth out? Yo, y'all forgot. Well, I'm here to remind you. He got knocked out by Vince Phillips. You understand me? But let me remind you all, since you guys want to be ignorant and compare Javante Davis to Zab Judah. So let me remind you all that Zab Judah, okay? Zab Judah was the IBF and the WBO Junior welterweight title champion. Okay. Now, not only that, not only that, he was also, okay, I want you guys to 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 put your ears together for this one. Okay. Be prepared to hear something because this is something you guys always talk about, but you don't want to see your favorite fighter do it. You don't want to see your favorite fighter do it. So let me remind y'all something that Floyd Mayweather hasn't done. That Manny Pacquiao hasn't done. 
Deontay Wilder hasn't done. Anthony Joshua hasn't done. Spence hasn't done. Let me remind y'all, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Garcia, none of these guys can claim undisputed Walter Weight champion. Not only was he undisputed Walter Weight champion, he was also the lineal champion. Lineal champion. And you all want to sit there and try to compare Gervonta Davis to Zab Judah. You ought to look in the mirror and slap yourself right now. How dare y'all disrespect Zab Judah like that, who is a Hall of Famer if he's not in there yet. He will be. He lost to Corey Spinks and he came back and he whooped him. Corey Spinks is the same guy who gave Jermaine Taylor problems at middleweight. I'm talking, I'm talking welterweight Corey Spinks. That's right. He gave Jermaine Taylor problems at welterweight. But y'all forgot about that and y'all want to disrespect. This is the MOBC. And y'all want to disrespect Zab Judah? Zab Judah ain't did nothing but give y'all exciting fights. And guess what? He is a small welterweight. Let me say it again. He's a small welterweight. And he went in there and he fought Floyd Mayweather. And he fought Miguel Cotto. He fought Miguel Cotto in Miguel Cotto's prime. And this is Zab Judah past his prime. As a matter of fact, when he won Lineal, he was fading. Disrespecting Zab Judah like that. You only going to get the truth over here. So whatever Javante Davis is doing behind closed doors, if he's a domestic violence type of person, if he's abusive, if, if he's an abusive person, an abusive man in a relationship, that's his business. If he wants to be stupid like that, that's his business. But I'm talking about what they do in the ring. Don't ever compare a Gervonta Davis to Zab Judah. Gervonta Davis' best win, his best win is versus um, Gamboa. Okay, Gamboa. And I think Pedraza, I guess you could throw in Pedraza in there. And I forgot about the other guy that he fought, the guy before Gamboa. He had a pretty good record. But none of those guys is Miguel Cotto. None of those guys. This guy fought Floyd Mayweather. Drop Floyd Mayweather. They didn't even call that a knockdown. Drop Mayweather, one of the best defensive fighters of all time. Miguel Cotto couldn't do it. Canelo couldn't do it. Manny Pacquiao couldn't do it. Shane Mosley almost did it. Ricky Hatton couldn't do it. But Zab Judah did it. And all my real boxing heads know that when you touch your glove to hold yourself up, that's a knockdown. So before y'all go around running your mouth and trying to compare Javante Davis to Zab Judah just because he's, he's hitting on his girl in the public eye. Think about what they do in the boxing world. Think about what's going on in the boxing world. I don't care about this guy being an idiot putting his hands on a female. I'm talking about what they do in the ring. Don't ever disrespect the last undisputed world to weight champion, Zab Judah. Lineal champion, Zab Judah. This is the MOBC. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, every Thursday, I'm going live. Peace.